Hey guys, welcome to Lawyer Tips. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make column unique with soft delete. Obviously, you can make a column unique by adding a unique flag whenever creating a migration. But many times we might need a soft delete feature which is present in the Laravel. But if we enable that and delete a model, let's say a user, and again try to create a user with the same email address let's say email is unique then it will not allow us to create with the same email because it is still present in the database but the deleted at is set so let me show you that let me show you the problem and i will show you the solution and from where did i get the solution i got the solution from this tweet and it is from tobias petri and i'm so sorry if i mispronounced your name and you can follow him he gives so good tips and tricks regarding sql so now let's move into the topic let me go over the code over here we have this users migration over here and we have email as unique and let me show you here in the database so we have 10 users over here and we have this user with this email now let me copy which i've already done before so let me just comment it and run it and now on comment 8 and you can see the same email over here now if i try to run it and create a user with the same email address then you can see the error on the right hand side which says integrity constraint violation and duplicate entry which means that you cannot create two records with the same email address and this happened because you have already seen that here we have added unique now let us introduce soft delete feature on the user which is available in the laravel so let me go here in the user model and here let's say soft deletes which is imported over here and it is added over here and for this to work you also need to have a deleted add column on the user's table so let us create a migration which does that php artisan make migration add soft deletes on users table and table equals to users so if i hit enter then it will create this for me and i can go over here and let me add a soft delete we can just say here table soft deletes and it will automatically add the deleted add column for us now let me run php artisan migrate and hit enter and now let me come here and refresh then you can see here deleted at is added over here and we can see here in the properties as well this if i just refresh over here then we can see this deleted at column over here let me go over the data over here now let's say we deleted this user so let me go over here let me find the user with the id of one user find and delete and run it then you can see here true which means that the user is deleted and if i come here and refresh over here then you can see this deleted at is set which means that the user is deleted now if i try to find the user with the id of one then it will give me null because the user is not present the user is present but it will treat the user as deleted add because we have used soft delete now let's say we want to create a new user but with the same email address the user is already deleted but we want to create a new user with the same email address so let us try this so let me just run this one more time and remove this code from here and if i run it of course it will give us the same error because we haven't done anything on the uniqueness so let me just comment this and let me add this on the users table and add that over here and let me just delete this okay i'll read on the migration one more time so now instead of adding unique over here let us do this so let's say table unique and we'll say email and deleted at we will make a compound index which means it will have more than one columns which means that we cannot create two users with the same email and deleted at value so now let me run php artisan migrate fresh and seed then you can see here all the data have been migrated and seeded and again let me come here and refresh there will be different data okay so here we have a user with this email and the deleted ad is null over here we have email and null and now you might be thinking that whenever we create a new user with the same email 
and deleted it as null then it must throw an error because the two users with the same value will be unique and let me go on the tinker wheel and let me add that email over here and again run it then you can see here it created that user and if i come here and refresh then we have different user with the same email and both of them have deleted at as null so this is the problem with a unique with the compound index with a data having a null value of course we can see a null over here which looks like same to us but internally mysql saves it as a different value every null value is different on mysql this is the problem and now let us see how to fix it let me take you to the tweet over here and let me just show you this image the solution let me just zoom it for you guys the solution proposed here is we need to create a virtual column and the value of the column will be email and some value concatenated with it suppose let's say if deleted at is null then we'll add dash over there instead of null and if it is not null then we'll just save deleted at which means here the value will be email has and dash if deleted is null and if it is not null then it will be email has and the deleted at as a string value now let's see how to do this on laravel we can easily create a virtual column on laravel so let me go over here and let's say instead of this let's say table a string and we want that column name as email unique and that column must be a virtual column so we'll say virtual as and now we need to write the expression over here and the expression is you can see here this expression now let me write that expression over here okay i have added that expression over here and now i want this virtual column to be unique so instead of this i'll just say here let's say email underscore unique we want this column to be unique not the combination of this email and deleted at okay now let me again run this fresh and now if i come here and refresh over here then you will see a new column over here which is email underscore unique and it has already created these values over here and you can consider this virtual column as a computed value a computed value is a value derived from other values so this value is derived from this deleted at column and email column you can see here all these are separate now let me try to delete a user with the id of one over here just delete it user find one let me find that user and let's say delete let me copy this email first and delete it and now if i come here and refresh and you can see here the email unique has a value combination of email and deleted at this value and this value is same okay it is not showing me all the values but they are same now if i come here and try to create this user okay this user with the same email address you can see this email address is already present over here but now if i come here and try to create a new user then it will actually allow me to create this user even with the same email address because the new virtual column email unique is different so if i come here and again refresh then you can see here they both have the same email but they have different email unique value but now if i again try to create this user then it will not allow me to do so so if i run it then you can see here it is just giving me that previous error duplicate error and it is not allowing me to do this because the email unique value for the newly created user will be same as that of this one but if we use the compound index then it would have allowed us to create a new user with the same email address and delete it at as well oh. but now let me show you one more thing that you can do with this so let me show you this first this user with the id of 11 and let me just do it like this and 
just comment it out and run it then you can see here email unique you will get this email underscore unique column whenever you are fetching a user but you don't want this because it is just for checking the uniqueness we don't want this to be loaded whenever we are fetching a user and we can do this by making this column invisible so let me show you how we can do that in laravel so here i'll just do here let me just add it here and now we can say here invisible just make the column invisible and it will not be visible on the model it will not be loaded there unless we explicitly specify it i'll show you that so here again if i run migrate fresh then you can see that over here now if i come here and find a user with the id of one then you can see that email unique is not present but if we want that then we can just say here let's say we want all the thing this will give us the same results but we also want the email underscore unique like this then we'll get this so the thing is unless we explicitly specify it on a select statement it will not be visible on the model and now here in this one also here in this table also it will not be visible let me just show you that and you can see here it is not visible over here also and here in the properties let me just refresh it then you can see here email unique will be available over here and i hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you are up to the end of this video then you are the true supporter of this narrative channel and if you want me to make more videos and provide you with more tips and tricks then you can support this channel you can check the description how to support this channel since paypal and github sponsorship is not available in my country so you can support me by using transferwise or just giving a super thanks on youtube so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye